And uh, so we're going to talk about diabetes. Okay. And I understand you do not have diabetes. No. That's good. That's a I wonderful thing. Uh, do you have any, uh, well, let me start with this. Um, if I say the word diabetes, what comes to your mind? What do you think about? Less sugar, eating less sugar and less, not many sweets. My dad is a diabetic, my grandmother, so I know pretty much about it. Mm -hmm. Not long ago, my grandma had an attack because it got too low, but. So, <coughs> grandma has it and dad. Mm -hmm. Is this your this, this grandma and your dad? Yeah. Son? That's my mom's mom. Your mom's mom, okay. How about your uh, mother and father's brothers and sisters? Anybody else in the family have? Not to my knowledge. I think my mom is borderline diabetic. Okay. Well, how long has your dad had diabetes? Ooh, since I was in college, 2002 or 3. Okay. And what do you do? I work at the tax assessor's office. What are you? At the tax assessor's office in the court. Tax assessment office. Oh, yes. you're after people's money. Then. Huh? <laughs> that sounds like a good thing here in Tampa County. Well, know? it is. <laughs> they don't think that. No. <laughs> um, did you think about going someplace else to work? I have thought about it, and I'm still thinking about it. You're still thinking mm -hmm. about it. What keeps you here? Uh, family. My grandparents are older, and um, mainly family. Well, I wouldn't mind moving. Mm -hmm. yeah, as long as it's dry, I can be a come back in four or five hours. Mm -hmm. I'm still considering it. Did you go to college here? And I went to East Mississippi Community College two years and see the state for last year. Okay. Okay. So you went out of the county yeah, while, you were, while you were going to school. You got a little <laughs> taste of difference, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So your experience of diabetes has been mainly seeing or observing what you're grandmother and father, what mm -hmm. happens with them? Is that so what's that like? What, what do you see? Well, it's not so bad, considering the, that they take care of themselves. Now, it kind of scared me a couple of weeks ago when my grandma had that attack. She's had diabetes for years and years, but when it had gotten so low and she was like, it was scary because we didn't know what was going on. It's the first time we've ever seen something like that with her or for me in general. So it was scary because I didn't know what was going on, what was happening to her. She was kind of talking out of her head and she didn't know what it got too low. But was it too low or too high? Too low. Okay. Does she take insulin? She does, sir. Okay. So did she figure out what caused it to happen? Well, after she went to the emergency room, then they gave her a little, um, the sugar where it picks it back up. Mm -hmm. And after that, mm -hmm. yeah. so after that, we were kind of wanting to make sure she eats right because she didn't eat much that day and it was hot and that's what happened. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes if you don't, don't eat, exactly. you can have some problems as well. Uh, <clears throat> what, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, what uh, role do you think family plays? in uh, giving support to somebody that has well, diabetes. Well, it's my word, because I was going to say, I thought you were going to ask me what role does the family play, but I was going to say a big role because of the support. If you have the support, then I think that you're more likely to take better care of yourself, because I know I stay on my grandma, what did you eat today? What did you eat? Or, you know, what are you going to eat? So, mm -hmm. as long as you have that support, I think, you know, it's not, it's, it's something to deal with, but it's better when you have family and friends that support you looking at what you think you should do what you're supposed to. Okay, so you've been to college, so now I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. all right, so, so how would you define the word support? Mm, that's a good question. That's like you know what it is, but you don't know how to put it into terms. Um, support, I would say someone that, that's there constantly for you and with you. Um, I would say someone just holding your hand, but someone that there to, like, just call and check on you to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to and um, being a backbone, uh, being someone just there for you okay. when you need them, mm -hmm. and when you don't need them, because I know I'm big on stuff like that, you know, making sure you do what you're supposed to. So, what's the difference between nagging and supporting? I think nagging would be constantly at you know, I give you your space to, you know, 
So, because I know you know what to do, but just to check up on you and make sure mm -hmm. at times, not constantly, but there at times. So, so, so you kind of lean more towards support, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. less towards nagging. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want to, you know, <coughs> hate for, hate for them to see me calling or something. But I don't, you know, I know they do just post. That's the grandma and her tag in. That's what right. kind of makes me check on more. And what about your dad? How do you? How oh, do he's you, good with it. Your dad takes good care mm -hmm. of himself. <coughs> and what's he? <coughs> what's he do to take care of himself? Um, <coughs> less sugar. Um, I know he drinks a lot of water and less sodas and maybe a few diet sodas, but not that many sodas. He eats, you know, like he's supposed to. And less sugar intake. Does he get a, much activity? Mm-hmm. He does. What kind, of, what kind of things does he do today? Well, he's constantly walking. He walks constantly with his job. He's a logger, so he's cruising for timber now all the time, walking daily. Okay. Y'all have a farm? No, we don't. Okay. So he's not out working on a farm? No, no. Okay. he probably would get a lot of walking. Exactly. What, he was working. what is a, um, what do you think the most important thing a person needs to do to control their diabetes? <clears throat> to eat right, mainly to eat right and to monitor what you eat and to eat. I know I was told that uh, you have to have so many small meals a day. Sometimes uh, I know some people eat sparingly here and there, but it's about, I guess, not so much as how many times you eat, it's about what you eat. Mm -hmm. So eating the, um, getting the right intake of food and the right amount and Okay, so let me just remind myself on the page that I'm talking to Nicole Woods. <coughs> and I forgot to put the machine on. <laughs> um, what do, uh, do you have brothers and sisters? I have a twin sister. Twin? Oh, so I like being a twin. It's fun. Is it, it is. Um, Are you identical? No, we're not identical. Most people say we look like sisters instead of twins. Okay. Like twins. Um, I enjoyed it. It's, it's a great experience. It's just the two of us. Uh -huh. So we go places. We, I don't know, sometimes we know it's the same thing. We don't have to say a word, just look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Now this, um, <laughs> Does she also support your dad and grandma? Mm -hmm. And would you say she does the same things you do or some different things? I'm probably the more aggressive one. Not so much as forceful. Well, she does, but not probably like me. Okay. We both just make sure that they do what they're supposed to. Okay. And what I didn't ask you is how far does your grandma live? From? Um, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10. Okay. Do you see her every day? Or? Not every day, but I will call. Sometimes I call from work to check on Grandma, what are you doing? Because, <laughs> you know, this time of year she likes to get out in the garden. And it's too hot. I'm like, Grandma, it's too hot for that. Wait till later in the evening or early in the morning. And then by that time she may not eat anything. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just where she really dropping. So, so you call and check on her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a good granddaughter. <clears throat> what ways do you think our neighbors friends or neighbors can support somebody that has diabetes? Call and check them like I do. Um, maybe check their schedule, the eating schedule. Just, you know, if there's anything I can do or just find out what did you eat today? You know, how's your appetite? How's your diet? Mm -hmm. You know, are you getting fruits and vegetables and eating like you're supposed to? Do you think um, um, people in the community uh, talk about diabetes very much? Not like they should, I don't. I think the, the awareness here needs to be raised. People don't talk about it like they do, or like they should, excuse me. So no, it could be improved. Okay, so um, a couple people before you reminded me that Mississippi's the fattest state and Kemper County is like at the bottom of the list. So one of the, the most challenging places in the country to live. So what do you see when you go out in the community and walk around? Do you see people that, children that are overweight? Mm -hmm. you see, I do. Do you see 
the families that are overweight. Mm -hmm. okay. So that that definitely could be improved. I don't know, maybe more community gatherings to talk about things like this to see what can be done to eliminate the problem or to combat the problem or just work on together as a community, as a whole. What do you think, um, what, why, why? Why are people heavy? What's causing that? What do you think? Probably because they're not as aware that they should be. Sometimes I guess if you have people with support, I think if you had, we had more support here, you know, going around to the community, communities and talking to people and talking with them about the seriousness of the issue. I think people actually grasp it more um, when you don't have much talk going on about it. And I think people just don't really think about it. They don't think about it until it gets out of hand. Mm -hmm. So do you think that people that um, that are overweight themselves, do you think that they're worrying about getting diabetes or getting ill? I don't think they do because if they, well, not everyone, because I think if, maybe if they were worried about it, then they would start taking better care of themselves. I don't think a lot of people think about it until it gets too far mm -hmm. or something occurs, something comes mm -hmm. up, then it happens. Then they want to work on it and stuff as opposed to now, you know, thinking about it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on it before taking better care of yourself, eating better, you know, more water, less sodas, fruits and vegetables and stuff. I think if people started out as opposed to when they got worse, then it would be better. So when, when you were in high school and college, you know, a young woman working in the community, are young women conscious about their weight? Is that something, you know, the, uh, nationally, you know, girls want to look like movie stars and, uh, and most of them are thin, most of the movie stars are thin. And, uh, and same thing with men, uh, a lot of times boys see uh, their heroes, you know, their sports athletes or something, and so they're thin and trim. Um, <clears throat> the young people uh, were want to look like that, or do they not think about it, or what do you think is going on? I think the younger people do, but as the as it progresses in age, I don't think people think about it as, as much as younger people do. I think most young people do at a certain point, probably when they're younger than I am. I'm 27, it's just, I just want to be healthy and <laughs> take care of myself. I'm not right. worried about looking about any, looking like anybody else. Right, right. Well, you kind of come through that, but you know, when you're 14, 15, 16 years old, you, know, you kind of see, yeah. you don't have enough experience yet to mm -hmm. see um, So, So what happens that, that uh, as the young people get older, that they start gaining more and more weight? What do you think? What causes that, maybe? Yeah, what happens? I think a lot of times people get tied up in work and families and they stop taking care of themselves mm -hmm. like they should. Um, sometimes people without children and families, they tend to maybe exercise more, uh, go running, walking more. And when they get families, then it's like, I take care of family. You know, they're, you know there's that priority, that concern. Mm -hmm. And it's less me, more them. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Do you think parents are concerned um, about the obesity problem in the children in the community? I don't think so. I don't think, I think if they were concerned, then it would be less of a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, then smaller kids be on diets and, you know, they will monitor with the kids. Mm -hmm. With your job at the courthouse, do you hear <clears throat> much about activities and things for young children where they can get active and, and kind of teach them some things about being healthy? Mm, I don't. Um, actually, sometimes we'll get flyers and things that's going on here with the extension service that we're posting the courthouse, throughout the courthouse, thing activities that are going on. But other than that, you know. So people, I'm kind of getting the impression that people in this county Kind of everybody goes and does their own thing, and, For the most part. and that there's not a whole lot of community spirit. Did you say that's true, or 
would you say that's true for older people or, and young people? Or mm. this, it could be improved. I mean, I like to say I think most people they do do their own thing and. When it's time to come together, they will, but other than that, you know, no one takes the initiative. If someone will take the initiative and, you know, to stand for, okay, let's come together as a community and work on this and let's become a healthier community. I think it's about someone taking a stand. Okay, so who's going to do that? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> How do we find the person That's who can right. do that? That's a good question. Someone that has pride for the community, someone that wants to change it better and a healthier community. Okay, so you have local politicians, mm -hmm. right? You probably see them, mm -hmm. right? Do they talk about making the community healthy? No. Okay. They don't. Um, go to church? I know my dad's pastor. Okay. And, well, then you expect to be there then, aren't you? <laughs> so this is not a fair question to say, does the pastor talk about being healthy? I bet, I, I bet your dad actually does. does. Yeah, Actually because does. he's conscious about it because mm -hmm. of his own mm -hmm. uh, health care needs. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we're trying to get some work started here with the coalition. Mm -hmm. And um, it's sort of like, I think for many folks here, it's like banging on walls that don't want to move. It's been like that for some time now. Yeah. We're more than just a health issue, a lot of issues. So what, what do we do? You're a young person and you've got, you know, some education and we've got kind of an inside perspective of things. What do we need to do? Someone with a strong voice. We need to, someone with a strong voice that wants to stand up and be supported. Someone that wants to pull these things together and make it happen. I wouldn't mind being a part of it. Aha. Uh -huh. I right. wouldn't mind. So you, have, you, have, you have a strong voice. You want some, to see some change. I do. Uh, what would it take to support you? But what would it take to, you know, what do you need to make that happen? Like-minded people. Okay. People that want to do the same thing that I want to do. Someone that wants to make a difference. you think that there are some young people your age who feel that way? Maybe you have some friends? I do. Who feel like maybe, you know, we don't want the same old thing that's been going on here. We want a different... I think I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... I know Vincent and some others here, you know, need some people. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, we, we look at the older people and the retired people and people who are already too busy, and we forget about young people. Yes, sure. But but young people can be very motivating and can make big changes in the community. You know, you might be that person. Hey, I, I don't mind. Huh? <laughs> Provided I have some help and some assistance, but it's about taking the initiative. Started. Yeah, I think it's always you know taking that first step and mm -hmm. figuring out how to how you how you actually can get going. Well, I want you to know learn a lot more about this project, okay? And uh, we're, we're, the coalition has been struggling now for uh, several years, and then we just got a nice grant and uh, got started. But uh, they're kind of banging against the wall, you know. So we need some people who can kind of step up a little bit and, and try to make this what it needs to be. That's about health, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, the, the coalition's really about diabetes prevention. But what that really means is promoting health, mm -hmm. you know, and promoting healthy lifestyles in general. So that's more than just what you eat. Exactly. You know, it's really what you think. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you do with your body, um, and who you connect with, who your friends are, and, and attitude. Mm -hmm. So you could become a real leader here. Yeah, I could. Well, I think I got that on tape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and so I'm going to encourage you. All right, I, I don't live here. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I come back. I'm working with the coalition, but I'm not here all the time. Um, you can get me about any day by email, right? So I'm not that far away. Uh, I, I, I think that uh, <clears throat> I'd like you to leave today and think about all this, and then maybe talk to a couple friends, you know, 
whether they're um, your own age or a little younger or maybe even your parents' age. And, and see who those people are who care. What, you know, because what this coalition needs to really help to, to make some real changes in the community, it's going to take a few people. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. You know, three or four people who really care can make a big, big difference. I'm not trying to put something on you. Know? I'm staying. Okay. <laughs> I'm staying. I don't want you to go say, well, boy, what did I make a mistake? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, it is something to think about. It is, yes. And I, and I think it, <clears throat> and I always encourage people to be thoughtful about what they're getting into before they get into it, you know. And, and you can come with some new ideas. Well, I've been talking a lot to pe uh, people about church uh, because church seems like a good way to meet make change, right? And it's not it's not something people in healthcare generally think about doing. But in this, this county, you have a lot of little churches. Hey, you do. <laughs> right? And so if we could get pastors uh, connected and, and we could get some people working together, I think we can make some change. I think so. I mean, you're worried about your grandma, but I bet other people are worried about their grandma's too. And they may not have someone who cares or is able to support them in the same way you do because they don't know how to do it. And it's sometimes just teaching simple things that can really make that difference. You got questions for me? I'm asking all the questions. So, uh, oh, huh? no, no questions. Okay. Um, well, I'd love to have you think about this a little bit okay. and, uh, and see where how you might get involved. Okay. Well, I will. And I'll be talking to Mr. Cole. And okay. So we can do oh, that'd be terrific. <laughs> and you can bring your twin sister on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> what does she do? She works in the courthouse also. Oh, well, there you go. But if it's in the Chancery Clerk's office. Okay. And so you're right here mm -hmm. in the cab. And where's home? Is home to cab? Uh, about 15, 20 minutes from here. Okay. Okay.